just two days away from Independence Day, but chances are you've already heard fireworks booming outside your home at least once or twice. Well, in Woodhaven, they're asking you to take caution as a way of looking out for veterans. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith joins us live now to explain. And Matt, uh, are officials asking people not to set off fireworks at all? Uh, specifically, they're asking you don't fire off the personal ones. The thought process here is that veterans can at least brace themselves and be prepared for those big professional shows. I don't think anybody does it on purpose to be mean. I just think not everybody knows that that is a, a, a big trigger. After serving eight years in Kuwait, then losing a fiance to an IED explosion, fireworks and Jennifer Smith don't mix. When they're happening at, you know, midnight to two, three in the morning, a lot of the times, even me myself, I'm rolling off the bed and rolling underneath my bed because it sounds like you're back overseas. It's a problem, a trigger that's all too familiar for some. <laughs> While some see a festive skyline, others retreat to memories, miseries from what seems like another life. It's why the city of Woodhaven takes the step of offering up signs like these for local vets, a reminder to neighbors to think twice before lighting personal fireworks. The reality is vets know they're coming, but for Woodhaven, they're hoping to limit the amount of fireworks to the city's main show. And the city's not against fireworks. We do our own fireworks. So if you want to pick up one of those signs, they're at Woodhaven City Hall. They offer them up during regular business hours. That's 9 to 5. Remember, if you're a veteran, they're free. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith.